We are long overdue for this. I'm gonna be getting these guys out on pasture in a tractor. These two rabbits right here behind me are mini Rex rabbits. We got them last fall for little Buddy, thinking that he would be getting into a 4-H program this spring. We got him enrolled in the program for a pet rabbit program for clover buds, and there were some scheduling issues to where we were not gonna be able to make the meetings when they had them scheduled and where they had them scheduled. So we never went ahead with the program. So we have these pet mini Rex rabbits that have just been in these cages. A few weeks back, our friends David and Kim from the Hardneck Homestead who raised silver fox rabbits gave us this beautiful blue silver fox rabbit. Rabbits are probably one of the most difficult creatures to contain with any kind of fencing, which is why most people keep them in cages, metal cages, because their ability to chew and dig enables them to defeat most other kinds of fencing or restraint. Keeping the rabbits in the cages though has not been my preferred method for housing them. It's just not consistent with the rest of the animals the way I'm raising them here on the homestead as far as the rotational grazing, um, constantly moving the animals, the chickens, the sheep, giving them access to fresh pasture all the time. The rabbits are not getting that. There are two alternatives to the cages that I know about. One is the colony model and the other is a rabbit tractor. The colony model is, I've seen folks on YouTube who have built big colonies for rabbits, which is big fenced in areas where in some cases the fence actually goes beneath the earth so the rabbits don't tunnel under the fence, but they give them big enclosure and the rabbits all commingle in the colony and they burrow into the ground, they have their litters into the ground. It's a fairly natural system. There are a few disadvantages with the colony system and that's one, there's apparently, from what I've read, more likelihood of developing disease and parasites. Our domestic rabbits nowadays have been bred for so long to be to live in these cages that living in a more natural setting is actually more problematic to them. I don't know if that's accurate or not, that's just some stuff I've read. Also, you need to have an area that you're willing to sacrifice to the rabbits. Keeping the rabbits stationary in one place, they're gonna completely take out all the vegetation in that area. It's a static system, so they're just in one place all the time. It's not a rotational system which is more of the model I like here on the grass-fed homestead. So that brings us to rabbit tractors. Rabbit tractors are essentially the same concept as a chicken tractor. It's a small enclosure that is mobile, where we can move it every day and give the rabbits access to fresh pasture. The difference between the rabbit tractor and the chicken tractor is the bottom needs to have some kind of restraining device to keep the rabbits from being able to dig their way under the tractor and out to where they will be quickly devoured by overhead birds of prey. Some people use chicken wire on the bottom of the rabbit tractors and I've read about rabbits chewing through that and still being able to get out. I've seen people use basically these wood furring strips at the bottom. The wood is a more comfortable thing to have on the bottom of the rabbit tractor. Apparently the rabbits don't like grazing the grass through metal. It's a little bit of a textural and flavor issue for them, whereas the wood is a little bit more natural. However, I've seen where the rabbits have chewed right through the wood and they get out of the tractor that way as well. I went to the farm store to look for other options and I found a couple different things. One was horse panel and just like it's just like cattle panel, except the squares in horse panel, the openings are two by four, whereas cattle panel are larger. I believe it's something around four by four, something like that. Cattle panel would be too large of an opening. The, rab the rabbits would just go right through. The horse panel would be a really good size. However, the cost of it was outrageous. It was almost $40 for a single horse panel. So I found this, this is called garden fence. It's two inches by three inches. It's a smaller gauge. It's a lighter gauge metal than horse panel, but this was significantly cheaper and will probably be much easier to work with. For my rabbits, not being huge monster rabbits, they will be able to fit their entire face 
between this opening to get to the grass without any issues. So building the rabbit tractor is the direction I'm moving in for these guys. I think it's a good solution. I'll be able to move them frequently. They'll get access to fresh pasture. And using the two by three inch mesh on the bottom should be a good solution for holding them in. These guys are also long overdue for a cage cleaning. We have a little buildup going on here, so it's a really good time to build them the tractor, get them out of these cages and into fresh grass. I moved all the pieces into here, which will be our future milking parlor. I figured this is a good spot to put all the pieces together, get this thing going in the shade. basic idea for the rabbit tractor. I think it came out pretty well. It is four feet long, four feet wide, and two feet tall. I have the tractor divided down the middle with some of the garden fence that I used on the bottom of the tractor. So I can keep my girls on one side and my buck on the other side. My original plan was to have these wood stickers that I got last year from a friend. We got a whole pallet load of them. I was planning on using those wood stickers along the bottom as furring strips to hold down the hardware cloth to give it extra strength. And for the rest of it, I was just going to hammer in the fencing staples. However, there were some issues with the fencing staples causing the wood to start cracking. So I went ahead and used these wood stickers, furring strips all over the tractor to reinforce the hardware cloth so the rabbits aren't getting out and other unwanted critters aren't getting in. I put a couple of these 1x12s side by side so the rabbits can have an area where they are off the ground. That's going to give them a little protection if the ground's wet and it's a little easier on their feet. So this side of the tractor I'm going to enclose with roofing panels along the top and the sides. So this is going to be the rabbit's private little hutch area where it can get out of the elements and get shade. And then out here it's going to be left open 
and it'll be able to graze the fresh grass through the fencing wire on the bottom. I have several pieces of scrap roofing metal left over from last year when we built the addition on our house. However, all the pieces, I dug through them and they're all weird sizes that aren't gonna work for the dimensions I need for finishing the rabbit tractor. Happily, my dad just did a metal roofing panel project and has some leftover scrap that will most likely work with this rabbit tractor. I don't have them here now. So in order to finish this, I'm gonna use just some tarp very temporarily so I can get the rabbits in here and out of their cages. And that'll buy me some time until I can get the roofing panel on here. Here she is in all of her tarped glory. This should do as a temporary fix. It's not pretty. It's certainly taking away from the looks of the unit, but it should get it done. Now what remains is just getting the rabbits in there with the waterer and their food and all that. Getting the buck in here is not gonna be any issue. However, the does, that's gonna be a different story. When putting two female rabbits together, there can be one of three different outcomes. One, nothing happens, they get along, everything's fine. Two, they sniff each other, they kind of get annoyed with each other, but they tolerate each other enough. Three, flat out brawl. The rabbit tractor actually took a little bit longer than I thought putting it together. So I'm actually out of time for today. I have to go inside and start getting things ready for dinner. We're having lamb chops tonight from our grass-fed lamb that we raised right here on the property. So be sure to come back and check out our next video where we're gonna be putting the rabbits in here, putting them out on pasture, and hopefully the females won't kill each other. We'll have to see.